me that have been asking me, where's the YouTube video? Adela, when are you putting up a YouTube video? <laughs> okay, hello, here I am. And thank you so much for your patience, okay? Thank you so much to all of you who have checked up on me on literally every other platform except YouTube hinting that I need to come back on the platform. Here I am, here I am, here I am. There has been a lot going on, guys. A lot of exciting things, but if I'm completely honest with you, my departure from YouTube didn't start off as exciting because, as you know, we moved countries, we had a third child, actually we had a third child, then moved countries, so it's just been a lot and of course we're outnumbered now and we still have other things that we do for a living right <laughs> david has a full-time corporate job and i'm an entrepreneur as well so it was just a lot so i took a break and the break wasn't an intentional oh i'm gonna actually take a break from youtube it was just when the work that we would do behind the scenes with the kids just got too much and then you know vlogging then became a bit of a oh my god i vlogged who's gonna edit it it's just been a lot but thank you so much for your patience and to go into the exciting things that have been happening for those of you that have been following me on my instagram and maybe linkedin and twitter you guys know that i have had so many amazing opportunities come my way the first one was when I was just minding my business one day. Then I got an email saying, you've been invited to New York to meet Bill Gates. And I was like, you know, this is a scam, right? Turned out not to be a scam. I actually flew to New York. I was invited by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to an initiative that they have called Goalkeepers. Some of you might be familiar with the Sustainable Development Goals and bill and melinda gates foundation are really doing a lot of great work championing this and so i went there and i had the opportunity to speak to the man himself and to have an idea of what their foundation is doing specifically in the healthcare space which is where i'm invested right so it was really good i met a lot of great people then I got invited to the YouTube Climate Action Summit, the very first of its kind that they had in New York. I was in New York at the time. It made sense for me to attend. I felt like an imposter in the beginning because I thought, oh, climate change. I mean, I know that it's this big thing that's affecting the world, but I don't know how it affects me or what my voice would sound like in this space. And over the last few weeks and months, I have learned so much and I am so grateful for the opportunity to actually learn more about something that impacts the world, that impacts all of us. Like, you know, the, the conversation, the impact of climate change in the world today transcends all industries. It doesn't even matter if you're a healthcare professional or you're an engineer, like it affects all of us. I, I feel personally inspired and you know, in the coming weeks and months, I will share with you the things that I've learned that I and we can do as individuals to, to make sure that we're not making things worse. After the YouTube Climate Action Summit in New York, I also got invited to the one in London, which I also attended. Right after that, I flew to Berlin for the World Health Summit, and I met lots of amazing people. And you know, in all of these spaces that I've been in the recent months, the, the overarching conversation is really all about climate change, how it affects us, what we can do. Specifically in the health spaces, we're now talking about the impact of climate change on public health, which again, as a healthcare professional, I really felt like, well, the healthcare industry is separate from you know the climate change science industry and again i just thought it was different silos but like i said i've learned so much and i'm very very inspired to bring that all on this platform as far as personal life goes it's all been great david is doing great you will see him at some point 
in this vlog. Will you see him in this vlog? I don't think you see him in this vlog, but definitely if you're on my Instagram, you know that I still put the kids, I still put David, but just that everyone, everyone's really busy doing their own thing. The kids are in school, David's at work and I'm at work and traveling. So my personal life is great. The kids are thriving. I've put lots of um, photos and stories in my Instagram so you can see that the kids are thriving. But I will try my best to bring them onto the vlog. As far as this vlog goes, I will take you to a sneak peek of what happened in New York only because I didn't get a lot of time to vlog, to be honest. Um, it's difficult to be in the moment, enjoying the moment and then vlogging it. I find that difficult these days. So I will take you through a bit of what I did in New York. <laughs> event tonight which is a networking dinner these are my absolute favorite shoes i wear them every day well they're so comfortable because they're block heel anyway i'll let you know how tonight goes <laughs> interviewing Mr. Gates <laughs> oh my god guys I know it sounds exciting but I'm totally looking forward to it <laughs> you know I'm quite curious and I'm questioning everything should I wear lipstick should I not should it be red should it be lip gloss should I wear heels should I wear flats what should I open with what should I ask him anyway I've just been on the phone to David who has given me a lot of motivation as he does because he's so sweet <laughs> Anyway, guys, I pretty much have free reign on what to ask him. So, of course, I'm going to ask him about, about healthcare. You know, because it's more relevant to me as a doctor. So, wish me luck. Hey, guys. So, today is the start of the D-Day, the Goalkeepers Awards. And we just arrived at the Jazz Centre, waiting for everything to start. and I am your host for this evening. I am a news anchor and an activist all the way from South Africa. And oh, yeah. I'm so thrilled to be with you tonight. And I mean, I have the honor 
of uh, hosting the last in-person goalkeepers event back in 2019, pre-COVID. And I have to say that I've missed all of you so much, especially our goalkeepers community. So please help me welcome onto the stage, Melinda Frenchgate. <laughs> It's so great to be back here in person and hosting what I think is going to truly be a powerful evening. She's the co-founder of the Malala Fund, a global organization advocating for girls' education. So please join me in welcoming the remarkable Malala. Thank you so much, Melinda. It's so nice to return to this stage of goalkeepers um, after a while. To care about girls is to care about the world. Vanessa Nakate, this year's Global Girls Campaign Award. just her bravery and determination, but the risks taken by her family and every person who kept her secret because they valued her so much. Make her award, Zara Joy. Awesome. I love her so much. <laughs> Thank you. Great time. Thank you for being in New York with me. I will not survive this week without you. <laughs> Thank you. And it's only just started. Yeah. <laughs> so this is Patricia Kihara. Do you want to tell people? Yeah, she's from Kenya. <laughs> and you guys know my love for Kenya. I mean, so it's such a pleasure to meet you. It's so nice to meet and you. And I just, too. I love that meeting all of the creators here. And yeah. look, at, look at this gorgeous. Listen, 
12 yes baby girl yes oh, let's see it <laughs> this is all kenyan this is all, he, oh. all kenyan my masai I necklace it. i love it i love it say something in kiswahili okay. to people that are kenyan watching niaje wase niaje 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 sawa 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 conversation that we're having that story so it might look bigger than it actually is it isn't right to become a storyteller today or tomorrow or actually to acknowledge that you are indeed a storyteller doesn't involve you having a social media platform and having like millions of followers you don't you don't need a digital platform digital platforms are great they get to people but you don't need that to then be a storyteller involved in a conversation that impacts all of us on earth right so my advice would be whatever you're doing in your own little way share it with your friend share it with your neighbor and if that conversation goes beyond that to a a full room and a community and a platform and and national tv all great Right? So if we can think about just you as a person and your friend and your mom and dad and sister, that's the best place to start. So how I stalked him down to Berlin. Didn't realize I was gonna meet him here. It is my pleasure to welcome you and introduce you to the head of health for YouTube, Mr. <laughs> Dad. Yes, <Woo>! boss. <laughs> the man of the hour. I can't say how special I feel right now. Oh my God. <laughs> Along with my green eggs and ham. <laughs> really, it really is. This is Dr. Ajada, by the yes. way. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, for, and thank you for everything. I've just been learning about everything that you've done and yeah. thinking about doing, and just your whole vision, like changing the world. <laughs> we got to do it together. Yes, <laughs> yes, we will do it together. Behind it, no, sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. Don't worry. Yeah, A moment. <laughs> about why you're here <laughs> I've been personally invited no I'm just Woo! of um, course you have yeah <laughs> myself and Dr O'Donna have been personally invited <laughs> to the global citizen festival as a guest of YouTube wow um, we're currently backstage at the sound check wow and tomorrow Adana is going to be going on stage at global citizen festival to 60,000 people amazing now we're going to introduce <laughs> you to Dr Adana wow 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 <laughs> Such incredible energy yeah. in New York. Oh my God. <laughs> I am going backstage 
I'm in New York. I got person invited, not by Biden, unfortunately. Next year, it's gonna invite me. <laughs> this year, I got invited by. Who invited me? <laughs> Who invited me? <laughs> YouTube invited. I invited her. Yeah. Oh, this is Erin, my new bestie. <laughs> and it's probably getting dark here, but you get the gist. Okay, guys, this is us backstage. Oh, that's my friend Erin. Um, that's my crazy friend Rachel from Friends. She was in Friends. Do you guys remember Rachel from Friends? That's her. <laughs> oh, look, look at that. So. That's, I don't that's know how to feel. Really it is, right, right. I'm loving this alien vibe. I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this now and afterwards just so it, it really blends into the head, okay? Then we're going to go stage right, walk up the stairs and come from around here and walk to the front of the stage, okay? So we're going to go to the front of the stage now, line up. Mark, we're going to get you to come to the front and we'll go from there, okay? Kicking off today with Arcadia Air, and this so, gentleman is just giving. When you put it on, it's going to give you a little prompt that says "Adjust for your eyes." Just hit cancel on the right. You see that? You would like to start. All right. All right. So. Um, so we are just starting a tour in the Arcadia Air. It's such a cool place. And we've been told that everything here is made of recycled material, which is pretty cool. So. And okay. on your right is going to be adjustment to the volume, on your left is going to be adjustment to the brightness. Okay, let's get into the world. <laughs> what are you seeing? Oh, I'm seeing a flash. <sighs> I will tell you how this is going. 